I just finished make a trellis for the wing beans. Um, I used to have tomatoes grow from the, uh, right here. Uh, you can see the tomato cage is still here. I use it just for the purpose of holding the four uh, poles together. I use the these uh, these are tree stick from uh, uh, Home Depot that I got, and you know pretty long I hammered down to the ground for like a foot and then reinforce it with with this so now it's really sturdy what I'm gonna use this for is is for uh, I'm gonna add in a couple more of these kind of layer like that you know like every every foot or so um, but I'm gonna use this to grow the wing beans um, this is a very, very nutritious, uh, vegetable. Uh, it's, a uh, it has this edge, uh, I think it's four edges. Uh, I sh you know, um, you probably haven't seen this before, but it is, if, if you see it, you sh should try to grow in your garden. And you can re read about it in, uh, Wikipedia. It give you some more information about, uh, the plant. So, I have, I basically redo the soil as well. Uh, this is the Pro Mix soil that I use. This is the best one that I found. Um, I use many of them from many different local um, garden shop that they carry here, but I settled for this one. Uh, and I have two plants down ready, one here and one there drift system already in place as well. These already, I've been having this preset before. So, um, I'm gonna show you the last plant that I'm gonna plant right here. Uh, normally, if you would plant, say a tomato plant that you buy from the store, when you plant it in your house, in your garden, you should plant berry at least the two lowest leaves on the tomato plant because what happened is when you bury a tomato plant the trunk that you bury underneath it grow more roots and that give the plant more uh, energy for growing the fruit you got higher yield than um, than you would normally have for this particular plant um, you know, you just keep the surface about the same. So you don't plant the, it deeper than what it is right now. Um, so basically just making a hole, putting it down really pretty straightforward. Um, so I'll do with one hand here and see how that work out. So have it, have that. And shake it. Okay. So you see that a lot of root system already come out. So this thing should take it off very quick. So you see the surface and this new plant that I put in. We don't want it to bury it deeper than what it is. Cause, cause the reason being is this. Oops, oh, I cannot take it out. I just broke it. Uh, it's okay. Um, you see the roots, uh, a lot of roots on the bottom half because it's it's, it's going down. Um, so you don't have to bury any more deeper than what it is. Um, compress this a little bit to get all the air gaps out and and then water it. And that should be good. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so that's what it looked like. And it should be able to clamp all the way up. Um, this is a fit pole. I have no doubt that it's gonna take all of it. Um, and a lot of fruits gonna come out. Well, 
Let's see how it goes. See how many fruits I'm going to get in this summer. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. Bye.